My name is Abiola, Abiola Bordery, but my friends call me Penya. I'm a creative visual artist. I paint on virtually every surface, from the human body to shoes to clothes to canvases to walls. My art is is heavily influenced by Laulu Sebanjo. He's a major inspiration for me when it comes to body painting, murals and all that stuff. Why did I choose art? Well, since I've been young, art is, art is basically all I've known, like all my life. I've never had any other picture in my head outside of art. And maybe sports and music, but art, art has always been it. There's this connection I have with people when I paint people. Like, oftentimes, I get asked how I'm able to, you know, sit in a place for five hours, six hours, even up to eight hours sometimes, painting people. There's, there's this thing that it is hard to explain. The human body is very fascinating for me. Like, in as much as we see the body every day, it is easily the greatest creation in the universe. Like, there is nothing that compares to the human body. There is no substance that comes close. So, when I paint people, there is there is this spiritual connection that I have, and that these people have sometimes to like. I have people that they do not actually wash off these paints from their bodies for like two days straight because they feel this they feel this godlike connection with my art on their bodies and that's what keeps me going really. Anytime I'm painting any of my models here, yeah, at first when we start they might be a bit nervous but as the time goes on and on and on because a body paint session can go for as long as six to eight hours, you know. So at that moment, the only thing that really matters is the paint and the body. Like, no other thing, just the creative process of trying to, you know, make each line have its own meaning. We just go with the flow sometimes. It's hard to say, okay, this is what it's gonna look like when I'm done. You know, like each line is is as important as the last. In as much as I have, you know, I've seen people that do something similar to this. It is it is like a fingerprint. Everybody has different fingerprints. In as much as people might see my stuff and be like, oh, this looks like loud, this work, but if you look really closely, it's different. It's different. Like, I can never repeat a design or a pattern, even if I try to. You know, it is, it is basically me going with the flow, and quite a lot of study has gone into it as well. I try to make my lines as defined and coordinated as possible in as much as in as much as it might look similar to the discerning eye it is it is almost obvious if i see a piece that belongs to me or if i see a piece that belongs to my fellow creatives in this you know in this circle it is very easy for me to say this is this person's work this is the person's work it's hard to it's hard to pinpoint exactly the distinction but it is, it is easy for me to tell that. The process of painting on people is basically transferred from the body on the canvas or on a wall as it were. I wouldn't say it's easy because I've been doing this for as long as I can remember. It is more or less like a way of life for me. So at any point in time, on any surface, I try to put an imprint of my style on it. But I'm still at a stage where I'm trying to evolve, hone my craft and try to find something that would 
spell out Peniel without a doubt when anyone sees it. So I'm still in that process of learning. I'm not there yet. The way I work with clients is I try as much as possible to bring to life what they are asking. In as much as it is almost impossible to bring an actual picture from someone's head to life, I try as much as possible because at the end of the day, even if I'm not paid as I would have loved to be paid for a certain work, I try to put in 101% because at the end of the day, it's hard to say who's going to see it and who's going to love it. So if someone says this is far from what I expected, I try to like, you know, work around it and improve on it. But whatever the case is, I think I have like happy clients at the end of the day. For the stage I am at the moment, I think I've been able to make a fair share of, you know, financial value for my work. But I feel like in the creative space, in as much as I've worked to an extent where I'm able to, you know, make my demands known, if someone wants to hire me for my services, I try to like spell out, okay, this is what I'm going to need. So as far as payment goes, I've been paid really well from like six figures for events. I get paid that on a regular basis because in as much as people might say, it's just paint, it's just paint and all that. And I'm always like, you can always meet the person that you feel like might do this thing for you cheaper, but you cannot get what I'm going to give you. And I'm not saying it because I'm proud of whatever, but because I'm quite confident in what I offer my clients. And yeah, at the end of the day, everybody is happy. In as much as I still have quite a number of brands going me at the moment. <laughs> I have big plans. There's quite a number of exhibitions I might be having outside the country, like sometime soon. You know, I have I've earmarked quite a number of places I would like to have my exhibition, but I've done a couple of joint exhibitions with um, you know young artists like myself. Gideon, ADG, Sadiq Abiola. So, like, as far as maybe a solo exhibition where people just, you know, see my stuff and you know, different mediums, ranges from canvas to graffiti to body painting. Maybe next year, sometime next year, a couple of months from now. I'll tell the younger me not to not to rush and try not to put deadline on things because I think that that's, that was a major, a major, I wouldn't say it, it was a major setback for me but it was a challenge because I tried to like say okay at this age I want to have achieved this, at this age I want to have achieved this. What it does is it puts people under unnecessary pressure like especially the social media aspect and all that, you know, we try to want to impress people and try to strive to put up an appearance. What I'll tell a younger self, you know, a young artist coming up is don't do this to impress anyone. Do it, do it for the love of it. My name is Abiola Bordering, also known as Peniel, and you're watching Wazobia Max TV. To enjoy more of this, our Ogun get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.